but can she go ahead of Heath? Um, Heath also, I think, doing a great job in the Grand Prix. I, I felt he was, in the end, unlucky, um, especially with Regarde Moi. So I'm, I'm sure he'll be out to, to show us all tonight with his second ride as well. <coughs> So a, a fanfare type entry. So it looks like we're television themes. And Sue not very brave. doing a great job because Remington's thinking those gorgeous flowers at sea, beautiful fresh flowers decorating the arena here. And I'm sure Luke has given you a, a close up on the, um, uh, on the television at home or on your computer screen. Um, at some stage. Extended trot, Sue had to play safe there. Great support with the music, in a passage now. So, good tempo change. And keeping the rhythm, um, that's the thing Sue has to work on, particularly early in the test. And um, it's first corner maybe, but then no problems. And Piaf. So, not particularly supported by the music. And so putting that down the AM, the first PR, he, um, he could be even more equal in his steps behind. So um, I, I think good choice to get the first one done um, and be looking to, to get that rhythm even better later on. So back to the trot, and trot half pass. Looks like she's going for three counter changes. And Roger, it's interesting, isn't it? You, you were sort of thinking that that's um, similar to the test, and, and I guess it is in distance, and when you consider the extra counter change you've had. But I, I had the feeling always the riders can take their pick. If they're not going as much sideways, they, you know, um, I like to see, if possible, really to be both different and clearly at least the difficult rather than just maybe equaling it if you're going for difficulty. So, you know, this is okay for difficulty. It's at least a seven degree, for me, same I, as the test. For me, I don't look at it as a difficulty thing. I look at it as showing the liability, the adjustability of the horse and the change of bends and flexions. And I think that's probably as important as the degree of difficulty in time. Oh, well, we, we must do both, of course. We must judge technically, but we must do the artistic. And the judges, of course, have to think of both these at once with every movement. So those five, as it is at the moment, and, and it is always being refined. I think it's almost refined. impossible. Um, <laughs> I can hear you talking in a million mile and now your brain is going a thousand because you judge this level, you realise there's so much to do. It's so difficult when you've got to think of music, choreography, tempos, rhythms, have they done all the movements, talking to your penciler. It's an unbelievable job and it must be difficult to be an expert at all of them. That's the problem with, with I think, that why that FBI is looking at maybe looking at different ways to judge the freestyle class. That is such a task for you guys. It's being refined all the time. Um, super in the counter half pass and well supported by the music. And again, the three counter changes of hand. And look, I think this music is enhancing the performance. Um, I didn't see the Grand Prix, but I'm suspecting he's been a little tense in here tonight. Um, Sue's camouflaged it really well. So not many steps, I suspect three, four jumps back she came after that extended counter. Very straight, from, and we have a great view of that. One and a half counter pirouettes, so more difficult than the test, but not highest difficulty. Into the twos as she comes back, exactly the same line. So a nice sequence here, and again, this is degree of difficulty. I, I really three. think there was a three at the beginning. Um, I, I saw something that was uh, uh, really um, uh, small deduction in, in, in the twos and the balance too. Um, uh, I, I think um, sitting in with judges, judging a freestyle, is a good experience really to see how it it is managed. It, it's interesting people's reaction. I know. Um, Sometimes journalists are given that opportunity and uh, it, it is oh, a bit more control there. <laughs> and back with, oh dear, glitches in both the changes. So this is, this is going to be costly mistakes, I'm afraid. Well rescued and Sue's 
really 100% concentration again, so you can see Remington, no lack of con loss of concentration. So the safety diagonal, another chance, and she's chosen to do the ones, but and somehow found <laughs> the music. So that was great riding. That wasn't enough for a full diagonal. She got in a set of ones, which she'll get a seven for, or help balance the perhaps five four. And who knows, where do you think she was going to be? Roger, if she I'm didn't sure. do that short diagonal, um, I one wonders if she would even be up the other end now if she hadn't had to ad lib. So, and here this Piaf is much more on the spot and I think more equal behind. Little problem in the transition coming out. That one right in front of the judges down this end. So well done to Sue Hearn. I, the, um, the rhythm, there were a few little problems, um, the tension affecting that as well uh, with the harmony. Um, it didn't come off as she would have liked, so uh, the, um, the choreography, while she did her best, I think the choice of the Piaf pirouette when the Piaf turned out not to be a strength tonight at the conclusion, perhaps not the ideal choice. So 